guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about some Ryobi Devour, but before we do, we're gonna talk about some winners on the Rigid Swag giveaway that we had. It's been a long time since we've done a giveaway, hasn't it? Yeah. Been like a real long time. Yeah. Actually, this is our first one in 2018. Yeah. You know why we don't do many giveaways? You want the honest, raw dog truth? Yes. It's because there's a lot of scumbags out there <laughs> that we say somebody won, contact us, and we get about 30 emails. So we have to spend a half a day going through figure to try to figure out who is. is the real winner. Yeah. Um, so now, it's yeah, it's a shame, but whatever. We're fixing it. We're still going to be giving stuff away, but, you know, we're just trying to figure out a new way to do it. Probably just going to be reaching out directly to the person via Instagram because that's the easiest yeah. way. Um, but you guys, four people won the uh, swag bag, which included a Mophie Mo charger, a little Roomba for your screen, um, a, wa a Camelback water bottle, which is actually pretty cool, an cool. OGO backpack, which is very nice, and a leather uh, luggage tag. Woo! I know that was the greatest Especially part. Especially if you don't travel, it's even better. I know. We're honestly, dude, I don't use luggage tags. You know what I get? Well, we have plastic business cards. We gotta talk about. It. I gotta get business cards too. We we click on it or click on it. We click, click punch it. a hole in it yeah. and then put it on our bag. Which is why I still haven't done that. I don't have any luggage tag on my stuff. I know. Well, we have our business cards are so old it probably goes to some other address. Yeah. I know. So you guys, here are the winners, okay? The winners, you gotta reach out to us and contact us at social at toolsandaction.com. Yes, I expect a thousand emails from you guys. And guys, when you do it in, in the subject, please put what it is, the winner of swag bag. And then when you do your address, do your full name, your full address, and exactly where you live, including the zip code, guys. UPS or whatever cannot ship your house if they don't know the zip code. And sometimes I've had to look it up, and they're like, sometimes they have like 10 zip codes. So please include the zip code. So Thank I you. Include the zip. You're, yeah, you're welcome. You guys, from YouTube, Chris Bowie. Woo! -hoo! Thank you. Thank you for supporting us, you guys. Also, yes. helps to put hashtag TAA crew. This is all random picks, um, but it does help to put hashtag TAA crew because we do see on the internet, we yeah. might just do something where we just send you something. Just to be cool because we're cool like that. Dale Fish from Facebook. Yeah. Woo! And the last two are from Instagram, you guys. From oh, Instagram. so you didn't pick anyone from the forum? I see the love that goes to you guys. What? Well, there was no post on the forum. What do you mean? Well, if you're in the forum, you're on these other things too. So no, I mean, we can't. But let's see who we got. Who we got? Pappy Woodshop. Yeah. Woo! And PDE Fazio. Woo! Right. You guys. You guys contact us through the Instagram app. So Pappy Woodshop <coughs> and PD Fazio contact us through that. Dale Fish, you contact us through uh, Facebook. I didn't even know you can contact people through Instagram. I know it takes like me a while. Like you message people. I'm so bad on Instagram, yeah. man. I'm I never so think bad. it's hard. Yeah, because see, I don't think it's. You guys, we're gonna do, John Miller is actually gonna do a better review on the Devourer than we are. We just needed some content to fill in with this giveaway, yeah, exactly. pretty much. But we're just gonna do a, a kind of an unboxing, show it to you, and I just threw that, you think that oil's ready to be? Oh yeah, actually that's a good way to do yeah, it. Yeah, so now I had some, I did a, uh, did we shut the vent check off or? Yeah. Or someone took it. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's shut off. I did an oil change on the vent track, you guys, and I spilled some oil, so uh, I put some key litter down. So let's see how well the devourer works and if it's gonna take it down. So is the, I think it's really designed for the homeowner to clean up the garage or No, stuff. I or mean, dude, this is, I mean, a homeowner could use it, but in all honesty, man, a contractor would love this thing. For like after when they're done with the job, you're saying cleaning stuff up and all that? Yeah, yeah, and I mean, that's the thing that's blowing my mind about Ryobi, you know? It's like, things are like reversed now. It's like, Ryobi was the homeowner, but they're coming out with this stuff like you know I mean Milwaukee should have this right yeah no I still think Ryobi does a lot like they just came out with a speaker system yeah for, for your pool. Uh, pool even a cleaner for your pool I mean it's really the you know kind of the home, the home thing but man this devour cordless to me is a job site thing so yeah. here well you see a lot of contractors using Ryobi because it's you know it's expensive not, it's yeah, good it's stuff and it's, it's easy to find people oh yes sir please I love the demands oh come on dude let's just get it over Lift with it up there you go. Now shake it. Look at that. That's it. What's it run off of? Like one battery or two? Uh, I, Eric? I don't know, you guys. We're just consumers just like you. It's the first time we're seeing this thing. I haven't read a press release or anything like that. Let's oh, wow. see what we think of it. Already, oh, wow, there's, kind of cool, there's stuff we gotta put together on it. Wow, that's light. 
It does come with one. It looks like one battery. One battery. It's a bare kit. Swivel wheels in the front. Wow. It has a thing for rough surfaces. So let me get the camera and get you guys in here. Where's my phone? I can use that camera. Oh, wow. Or we'll just do B roll. Wow, All that's right. really cool. So it's got the sweepers in the front. So you throw it right into this bucket. It's a nice big bucket. So it actually looks like it can pick up bigger items too, not just dust particles. Okay, let's Very put cool. um, a uh, smooth surfaces and rough surfaces. Oh, cool. Okay, so you'll be interesting to see. Oh, look at, dude, look how easy it is. Tool is. Here, let me just see. Oh, but which. Here, take this off. That goes on there. Wow, it's tool It doesn't matter which one's gotta go that way. But. What do you think of the plastic feel, honestly? You guys, and Royobi is an advertiser, just so you guys know. Like this part, I don't but care if it's plastic. I wish this was maybe metal. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I've never had a problem breaking anything, that. Royobi, but this area right here, I feel should be metal. Maybe, yeah, because maybe it's, it's metal it's reinforced. No, it's plastic going on to plastic. Yeah, so that, so that like would be a, a concern for me as a consumer. What's the warranty on Royobi, Eric? What is the warranty on Royobi? I don't know. Wow! Okay, so when you rough it in your smooth surface, basically it will drop your wheel down. That's the difference with the rough in that. Does it see what these things are in front? Does that just stop the sweeper? See how it goes into the... Oh yeah, that's weird. Yep. Yeah, no, I mean, we should probably look at the instructions here. So that's it you guys, the Royobi Devour. Pretty cool little unit. Um, Eric's gonna talk to you about it a little bit. A couple things that I liked real fast is the headlights are actually pretty bright on the front, right? Actually, I didn't even notice them. Yeah, really? Uh, oh, wow, they're, pre they're pretty bright. They're messing with the camera. These two things on the front are the bristle what? What are they called? Um, I don't know. I'm still kind of up in the air what exactly they do, but I'm thinking over time these things will tend to want to curl up. You're going to push this and it's going to keep them down. I'm thinking that it's more like stuff sticks to the bristles and if you put that down, it will help shake it away from there. Yeah, that's, that's true too. Yeah, that could be a possibility too. Um, I like the big bin on the top. I like yeah. the capacity. I mean, look at the stuff this thing was able to take in. I mean, it sucked that in. That's pretty big. It's stuff that you don't have to get on the ground. Now, what I, I see, another use I see for this is you could still sweep your garage or shop the conventional method method but you know when you have that big pile yeah and you have to get the shovel and you're like trying to yeah. do that <coughs> three seconds this thing's gonna go in and take care of that for you no that's true and like we were talking about earlier I think it's good for the garage because if you use a blower even if you sweep you get stuff all over the place with this it takes everything inside the other place I was thinking about is around the pool because you can't really use a blower because all the leaves and stuff will go into the pool right. this will actually clear the deck away from it without getting a mess yeah, and it was easy to like kickstart it right here. You just kick that and it yeah. starts spinning. And it, it spins slower than you anticipate. I know, I was like, expecting it to go faster. Yeah, I thought it was going to go faster. Now, granted, you know, since they are spinning, it does shoot some of the litter in places, you know, where it can't get to. So it does make kind of a, it's not going to be a perfect cleanup. No. But, you know, you're not using this on a finished product on a floor, a kitchen house, floor. Yeah. You might. I mean, it depends on how dirty your house is. I mean, if you have like, you know what would be cool? Man, uh -huh. imagine if you had toddlers. I they do. leave their toys out. At the end of the day, you can just go and pick up all their toys and then just dump it into a Dude, thing. Dude, I'm going to do that with mine because my kids leave out. I've got a nine-year-old and a seven-year-old and they leave stuff out all the time. And I always, I'm like, dude, if you're not going to clean it up, I'm throwing all this stuff in the garbage. And then I'll end up cleaning it up. You know what I'm going to do? One night, I'm just like, okay, just remember all your toys where they were. And I'm going to take this thing and just psh, sweep it all up. Yeah, that's awesome. Because I'm only stepping on them in the middle of the night. But anyways, go ahead. And it looks like, too, you know, you can store it if you want to upright like that once you empty it out, obviously. So it's not going to take a bunch of, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's actually pretty well built over here. You know, I'm not seeing any major issues. I mean, it's well built. It's got that plasticky feel to it, you know. Right. But I think it's well built. I mean, it's, you know, 140 bucks. It's a bare tool. You do not get a battery or charger. This is adjustable, it looks like. I mean, you guys, this is Royobi. They're killing it. They're killing it. What I did mean, you say the warranty was? Three years. Three years, I mean, yeah. Yeah. And I mean... Obviously, you guys, we are sponsored by Aerobi. We have a lot of sponsors, Southwire, um, Klein. A lot of people sponsor us, right? Right. But we would not take on a sponsor that built crappy products. Does Royobi build the best of everything? No, they don't, right? There's, they're for a certain crowd of people. But what they do build for, 90% of their products are pretty good. 
I think for the homeowner, being a homeowner, I think that's the sweet spot. And I love being able to go to Home Depot and get the stuff. I love how they don't rip you off on it. And I love their large line of stuff. It's not just power tool related, but different things, you know, coolers, garage door openers, whatever, you know. Right. And then, I mean, like, what's the, okay, what's your favorite Royal B product? My favorite one, believe it or not, is actually the inflator. And the only reason being is because, again, I have a seven and a nine year old, and they are always asking me to fill up their toys and this constantly. And I used to have an old bike pump doing this. Boom, just put it on there and it does. Just because I use it all the time. I'm no, no joke, I use it three or four times a week, easily. Wow. Easily. That's crazy. Yeah. What about you, what's your favorite? Um, actually, my favorite is still in the old blue. I just found it the other day, that compressor thing that goes on the wall with the laser line. Yeah, I was looking at old bloopers of ours, though. Remember, it kept yeah. falling off, though? I like that yeah. thing, man. It was cool. I like yeah. that, and I like the, the new uh, shop back that's cordless. Oh, I like that, but you know what I like is a stick back too. All in all, I like this thing. I think it's good. I have a nine out of ten. I would actually give it a ten because for a few reasons. A, the only other ones you see are industrial versions, and they're super expensive. Uh huh. And B, it's relatively inexpensive. It's available at the Home Depot, and uh, you know, honestly, it's gonna last. I don't think you're gonna have a problem with this. If anybody you guys have a problem with your where you'll be devour, comment below because I, I don't think. I gave it an 8.375. Really? I gave it a 10. Yeah. That means I'm a fanboy. Uh, I mean, if you like a product, you like a product. I think it's, you know. Yeah, I really like it. I mean, I, I would probably use it in my house, but. I don't um, think I'd use it in my house. Well, not now after we suck up all the oil. Like, not even if I had it new. I don't know. I just, I mean, I don't think it replaces a vacuum in a way, you know, for rugs and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know, you guys. It's pretty cool stuff. Check it out. What do you guys think? Comment below. Uh, don't forget to go over to toolsinaction.com. Check out the forum over there. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram. We have all different kind of content going on everywhere. We have writers now. We have John Miller, who you see on the channel. Uh, we are still doing the daily videos, you guys. It's just, this was just a crazy realm of things that just ended up happening yeah, where we're getting back concrete. Into it. And uh, Eric's been sick. He's still sick, you guys. Well, this is the only better. video we're filming today. So we're supposed to do like five, but next week we're going to do five and then put it all up. So We'll get back to daily videos, get back to doing what we were doing before. Yeah, yeah, it's just Eric, you know. It's getting old, it's guys. Fault, you know? It sucks. Sorry, you guys. Know? Yeah. you got to follow this guy. 13 years old, very into tools. Very cool guy. Uh, what's his Tool job? Dynasty on cool Instagram. Dynasty. Yeah, check him out, you guys. Uh, it was kind of cool. We were at the event. Yeah. And uh, actually, <laughs> the, the other guys got to meet him. We just came in on the tail end of it. But uh, he was just really excited yeah. about tools, getting to meet all his, you know, except it, for us. He didn't, he didn't really know who we were. He's like, who are these two old guys? Yeah. But you know what? It was we're cool. Husbands. It's cool to see people coming up who are very interested in tools, technology, and stuff like that. It's nice to see at that age the passion and stuff like that. It's really cool. So don't forget to check him out. Yeah. Um, but that's about it. Huh? Cool stuff, you guys. Tools Nation. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.